Here's the blue dawn air settling over the cart I readied at my corner in front of Trinity Church at Wall Street and Broadway. Here now in October at 6 a.m. and 15 years later. What is it that took this morning over, washed it with a morning past, and by that breath kept from it the fear who next will be shot also going on right now, right here, above this scene, beyond it, where? And what about this from Emerson's journal? The universe is a more amazing puzzle than ever as you glance along this bewildering series of animated forms, the hazy butterflies, the carved shells, the birds, beasts, fish, insects, snakes, the upheaving principle of life everywhere incipient in the very rock aping organized forms. Not a form so grotesque, so savage, nor so beautiful, but is an expression of some property inherent in man the observer, an occult relation between the very scorpions and man. I feel the centipede in me, caiman, carp, eagle, and fox. I am moved by strange sympathies. Strange, yes, this sympathy, clearing a space, preparing a ground for meetings to occur, but fragile too, terribly fragile. So why, why, I have been wondering, did my friend standing at the shore one night this summer watching the white breakers arc, curl, and fall, why did she say, even as the chill spray hit our faces and we shivered in relief from the day's heat, how could she say, it's just like a movie, and pull us from the evening damp, the woody splintered boardwalk, the sweet ache of leaning on the chest high railing, rumble of the arcade fading, folding in and out of wind. Why break the hum and echo of the moment we were in? Why leave the moment just then forming, moment that would some morning, some evening return to her a quality of light or air or scent and displace the sadness she might be feeling. I've never been able to conjure in winter summer's heat. I cannot by will regard the snow into a fringe of green. So while I believe the sniper will be caught, I cannot summon that peace nor compose a time without this pulse of fear. I only know fear comes to me and also peace. On October 24th, hours before dawn, the sniper is caught with an accomplice sleeping at a rest stop near Myersville, Maryland. It's been 25 days now since the rampage began. 11 people are dead. And though the snipers are locked far from us now, a world away, three miles away, just downtown in hyperbolized space, supermax, the sine qua non of desolation, here they still are, large in their absence and circling. Fall, like an axis, collected them in spooled all the fear up. Fall also spun around itself, translucing yellows and flaming red stems. Last flocks lifting whole into trees for a rest, leafing back the empty spots. And late afternoons, a neighbor's carrier pigeons let out for a spin, angling like a single arm, an arm crooked up to block the glare, thick pumpkins, white mums, Fall gathered these in. And fall gathered too. On this afternoon, my husband working up Prelude 14, my son and his friends dropping split rotting walnuts thunk in tin pails, the blade of air sharpening as the temperature falls, box elder bugs swarming the shed's southern wall, and everything, everything else uncountable, unaccountably part of that constitutes now. And all this I call fall, I call late afternoon, will come back, will come hauling its wedge of cold fear, its unbidden relief. Oh, who can know which, some long summer hour when lines of road tar loosen in heat, a boy sits idly peeling a stick, 
and wood wasps drill slow, perfect circles in eaves. Thank you.